Julie Chin. Here's a look at some of the stories making headlines today from 2 News Oklahoma. Students at Catoosa were up and at them early this morning. That's because today, their first day of school. Catoosa Public Schools has blended and virtual options available as well as in person for all students. Masks aren't required there. Their return to learn plan online says they are strongly recommended though. Check out kjrh.com for a look at their back to school plan. Two different Green Country School Districts are holding Board of Education meetings to discuss their back to school plans. Union Public Schools is holding its board meeting tonight at 7. That meeting is at the Education Service Center boardroom off of 61st. The district released its back to school plan for dealing with COVID. It, this will be your chance to comment on the plan. You will need to send your comments to communications at unionps.org. Jinx Public Schools is also holding a board meeting to discuss its return to learn plan and how the district is responding to the ongoing pandemic. It will start this evening at 5 and the meeting is happening over at the JPS Education Service Center. That's on East A Street. Now let's get a check of your forecast with meteorologist Annie Brown. Thanks Julie. I'm keeping a close watch on some spotty showers in the area this morning. Nothing severe but Go ahead and allow a little extra time as you're headed out the door. I do not expect these to be with us all day. We'll keep that 20% in early this morning and then we'll see plenty of sun by the afternoon hours. We'll turn our attention to a heat advisory going into effect at noon until 8 this evening with heat indices likely to range from about 106 to 112 degrees. Make sure that you practice those heat safety precautions this afternoon. Again, temperatures 97 for the high today, keeping those temperatures in the upper 90s to right around 100 as we look through the entire work week.